Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, in today's video, we're gonna be doing a little get ready with me slash vlog. I'm currently about to get ready to go to an interview. I literally just got called like an hour ago to come in. So, I was already planning on vlogging today, but I was like, you know, why don't we do a get ready with me too? I have an hour, it's 11.57, the interview's at one. I need to leave the house by 12.30 ish yeah something around that time because the place is 20 minutes away from me so you know it's not that bad of a drive but we need to you know we need to get ready so i just took a shower i went to the gym earlier that's when i was called like literally right when i was done with my workout it was originally at 12 but i told her if we could move it back just an hour so i could come home and get ready um i'm wearing like this gray just long sleeve top and some jeans it's a little bit cropped but it's not like too cropped where i can't pull it down you know what i'm saying so i can pull it down to where it doesn't look cropped but i can also wear it cropped so for makeup i'm just gonna do like you know some concealer mascara powder blush highlight i got this new nyx contour stick i've been wanting to try so i'm excited to try this today we're about to enter 2022 which is crazy to think about this year actually flew by but 2020 flew by as well so Ooh, this is cute i've heard some great things about this contour stick so i'm really excited to try it um i'm gonna go ahead and like prepare my face because I haven't even like put on moisturizer or anything. As far as like New Year's moves, I don't really know what I'm going to do yet because I am hanging out with my friend Tremendous tomorrow. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. Like today is December 30th. So tomorrow's New Year's Eve and we had already planned to hang out. We were gonna hang out today, but she has work today and it's just cutting it close. So we decided to just go with tomorrow. Yeah, I told her I didn't want to go anywhere too, you know, dramatic, like too big. Hold on, let me see if I can put y'all in a better spot. Like, I'm really trying to figure out where I can put y'all. Okay, this looks a little better. I wish I could move it up just a tiny bit, but kind of can't. So, y'all are going to have to just deal with this. But, yeah, I just don't want to go somewhere that is too crowded, too dramatic, because... COVID is still a thing and now it's like called Omicron or Maricon. I really could not tell y'all how to pronounce it. Now that that exists, it's even more of a hazard to be out and go to public places because it spreads even faster. I'm not really feeling the vibes of going out, especially because my man is going to be in town for like a week. He's coming down like January 10th. So I have to basically make sure that I don't get sick because if I get sick, he can't come anymore and that's gonna, you know, make me very upset. So I'm gonna start with brows first. I dye my brows just so I don't have to fill them in like OD. So I heard that if you brush them down and then you put the gel on, it like looks better. I've done it before, but yeah. So basically what I started doing is doing gel and then filling it in, not filling it in, but kind of just um, taking the pencil and going over like sparse areas. There's some areas that just be looking bald. That could just be because the dye like, you know, fades out quicker in some areas than others. The only thing is since the mirror is like so close to me and since the lighting's like really good, I kind of can't um, determine how my brows look fully until like I look from a distance because sometimes like if I'm filling in sparse areas, I have to go to like my closet mirror because if I'm here, like it's kind of like I'll be too defined with it and then when I look in that mirror I'm like oh my god I filled it in way too much. I'm gonna let this gel dry so for right now I guess I can go ahead and do concealer. I need to really like build a makeup routine. I kind of just wing it every time. I'm gonna take this shape tape concealer. This is the lighter one. Yeah, this is the lighter one. This one's a little bit darker. So I usually put the lighter one like under my eyes. And then I take this one 
and I put this one basically where I have blemishes. I totally forgot to put primer on. Oops. Doesn't matter because I'm not gonna be out for OD long, but damn. I really forgot. I had a pretty good Christmas. I was just around family. I just got a phone for Christmas and then like some minor things. So I was completely fine with that because I needed a new phone. That's like the main thing I asked for. I got the 13 Pro. I didn't want the Pro Max because it was just, it was too big. It was way too big. So I decided to just go with the Pro because the Max was just not it. So we're gonna try this. I like six, so I'm gonna put this part like down my nose. And then we're gonna put like this part, you know, on the sides of it. Ooh. I'm really trying to master contouring because um, I suck at it. Like I did suck at contouring. I really be trying, but I suck at it. And that's just that. I just brightened my camera a little bit so y'all can probably see me a little better. It's so weird getting ready with no music. I mean, y'all are gonna hear music, but you know, not me. I just hung out with some of my mom's side of the family, like my aunt, my grandmother, and um, some cousins came over. So that's what I did for a break. Well, not for break, but like for um, Christmas. My dog recently got surgery. I talked about it a little bit on my spam because um, that was the reason why there was a delay to my travel vlog because my dog got surgery. You know, I was really trying to make sure that she was good before I could get to editing because really she was only like, you know, needing assistance when she first got it done so like the first day but after that she was completely fine she had just gotten some masses removed on her they weren't like cancerous because she didn't have tumors i think one was a tumor but she just got them removed they were huge like if you've seen my dog before she had like this one on her neck and it's like the size of a softball so she got it removed she's had it for like quite some time now so i'm glad that she got it removed and you know she's all good now so she just has stitches i'm gonna take her next week not next week but the week after to get them removed me and my man are gonna take her um i don't really think this contour did anything i don't know you know what let me look at my phone if i can't tell if something did anything i usually just look at my phone in some light i did a little bit but could do more. I hate blending with a freaking beauty blender because it takes forever. I usually like using a, a foundation brush. However, I heard that that doesn't really blend the product as good, so. Okay, so my brows are done drying. I'm gonna go over it very sparsely with this Anastasia Brow Definer. Just the sparse areas and just kind of fill it in. And then I kind of just brush it out. I know that kind of kills the point of putting the gel on it, but it helps distribute it and make it like really natural. The gel basically kind of shows where it's sparse, so that's why I put it on first. And then I just apply more after. Well, I apply like a lighter gel after, which I will show you guys. I have like this Revolution soap definer for your brows that make your brows look like soap brows. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm tempted to try it tomorrow. I'll probably try it tomorrow. <laughs> so like you see, I know it looks dark on camera, but it's literally not even dark. I'm gonna do the other one. Usually I kind of have to outline the top of my brow because it's kind of sparse. Also y'all, I'm getting my lashes done. The day my boyfriend comes in, like I'm getting them done that morning. I'm literally so, so excited because I haven't got my lashes done since my friend was training on me and I love having lashes. So I'm excited. There's this girl I found on Instagram 
that I'm gonna be going to. She's in the Dallas area. And I'll let y'all know how it goes. I don't wanna, you know, give her at yet until I go there because I don't wanna, you know, recommend y'all to somebody and I don't like their work. Like, I think her work is good. It's just, I haven't had her do lashes on me yet. So I don't even know like the service or like how mine are gonna show up. So that's why I'm waiting before I just, you know, throw a name out there. This one looks fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and conceal these brows and then I'm just gonna finish the rest of my makeup because I'm just gonna keep talking and I'm gonna delay like me finishing it and i really need to get it done like i have 15 minutes so i will talk to you guys once my makeup's done okay y'all your girl's all ready she's all ready i'm not gonna wear this hat and then i'm gonna pull my shirt down when i get in the interview but yeah so i kind of oh y'all see that a hair child i just slicked you back i'm just gonna keep it off some interview but yeah just finished my makeup I'm about to go ahead and head out it's like 12 31 32 something like that so it's time for me to leave i'll see y'all when i get out of my interview and we start running my errands because period so wish me luck working on a weekend like usual way off in the deep end like usual niggas swear they passed us hey guys so much. i'm back it's two i just got out of my interview and i nailed it got the job so i start on tuesday at 7 30 in the morning though i'm gonna have to start going to the gym like after work because i'm probably gonna be working morning shifts hopefully for the shifts that i work i'm out by like two three o'clock so that way I don't hit that big rush hour in the gym like five, six o'clock and I'll be able to get a workout in without it being crowded. But yeah, so your girl got the job or whatever. Get to the money, period. So I'm about to head into this piercing place. I'm about to drive over there because I want to ask them about my industrial, like what I should do about it. And maybe get a nose piercing i'm probably not going to go through with it but i am so freaking tempted because i miss my nose piercing so much but really just depends on you know what they say about it because i did have it pierced before there's like a really tiny bump like it's not poppable like it's pretty hard but it's a really tiny bump so i'm gonna see what they say about it and if i can get it pierced i might do it but if they say that I should wait, then I'll wait it out. But I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna get it. Like if I can get it pierced, it's not like 100%. It's kind of just the idea. Cause I don't know yet, but we'll see if they're crowded right now. If they are, then I'll just go ahead and do these returns and then go home or get some food. Cause I haven't ate lunch yet. So I'll let you guys know what I do. I'm gonna try to take y'all in the piercing shop. I don't know their filming policy, but I love my piercing shop here in Texas because it's all female owned and um, only females work there. So love it. I've never gotten any bumps or irritation from their piercings. Only piercings I have irritation from are the ones that I got in New York. So I'm gonna go ahead and head to the piercing place and I'll see you guys inside if I can take you guys. update you guys i pulled up to the piercing place dumb crowded when i tell y'all like the whole waiting area every freaking seat was taken people standing up people giving wait times like sitting in their cars outside i was like i want this piercing but i'm not willing to wait that much like the most i've had to wait for a piercing there i think was like 10 minutes but it's just mostly like younger people you know like either just turning 16 or 18 like trying to get you know piercings with their parents and just stuff like that so i don't know what the deal is i don't know what's the hype around this time of year i'm trying to figure out where i'm gonna eat because i'm starving and i don't know where i'm gonna eat yet i really just want something quick because i still have to do these returns but I might just do the returns later because I kind of just want to eat. Like, I'm just getting hangry. So, I was going to get Chick-fil-A. But I really want Mexican food. So, I'm debating if I should just go to my OG taco place by my house and get tacos. Or 
if I should sit down at a restaurant. I don't know. I don't know what I should do. I have another place in mind that I want to go to, but it's in the complete opposite direction of where I'm at. And it's gonna be a drive, so we'll see what we do. We'll see where I go. But for right now, I'm just gonna drive and have my mind just come to a sense of what I wanna do. They're kind of spicy. And then I was eating my chips and chips. We just got water with lemon to drink. I haven't even touched it yet. Just couldn't fall asleep. Literally, my bed is a mess right now. I need to clean it, but I'm waiting till my other clothes in the washer right now are done. Then I'm gonna wash my comforter. I'm probably just gonna wash my sheets while I'm at it because who's the one clean sheets? Also, decided I'm not gonna go to Target and Walmart today because my allergies are just kicking my butt. Like, literally, because I'm starting to get like a sinus headache. And I took medicine, so it's kind of going away. I promise y'all, I don't got COVID. Please don't think I have it. So we're gonna do a face mask while we're waiting for my laundry. I'm pretty sure it's already done because I put it in like 30 minutes ago, almost an hour, probably like an hour ago actually. And I'm gonna put on a face mask before I go put it in the dryer. And then I'll go ahead and put my comforter and my sheets in there. I know I said I was gonna go to the store, guys, but you know, the girl just, she wanna be inside. I didn't take a shower though. I literally just, um, I just took off my makeup. So that's why I look cleaner, but I didn't shower. I showered this morning. I didn't do much today besides go to the interview and eat and go in one store. So it's kind of like, I didn't do much. I would shower, but I'm just, just no. Also, I'm putting this on because my hair stylist was telling me how basically my face wash or face products can affect like why my edges are thinning out because they're thinning out like bad. So I'm trying to like make sure that I put it up. I know I look bald right now. I look so bald, but I'm trying to make sure that I put it up before I like do skincare. I got my hair trimmed. What's today? No, it was Tuesday, so it was two days ago. I got my hair trimmed. Hold on, guys. My battery's dying. Um, I got a trim. I needed one really bad. I got it done Tuesday. I'm so happy I got it done because I had been slicking my hair back way more. 
than I usually do because my hair wasn't trimmed and usually when it's not trimmed I just like to slick it back because my hair doesn't cooperate down like I want it to when I don't have it trimmed so period but uh, I'm gonna wash it tomorrow and wear it down tomorrow for New Year's Eve so I'm excited to see what it looks like down styled myself for New Year's Eve like with the trim I'm excited for skincare we're gonna put on a face mask this is the ordinary salicis salicic I still don't know how to say this word salicic salicylic uh, salicylic salicylic acid 2% mask from the ordinary my skin's been breaking out I'm pretty sure it's from my cycle because I'm on it because besides that my skin's been completely fine so um, I just like to put this literally on my whole face usually um, it's better to put it everywhere than you know nowhere and usually I break out the most on my cheeks. I don't really break out on my T-zone anymore. And I think it's just because I've grown out of my acne, not acne, my oily prone skin. My skin used to be very oily. Now it only gets oily like when I wear makeup and I don't put primer on because it was oily today. But I don't really get that much acne on my T-zone. Like I only have a little bit right here just because of my cycle. But besides that, I literally don't even get acne like on my forehead anymore. It's usually on my cheeks. I don't even know what type of skin I would describe I have. I feel like I would say it's acne prone, but it's not like dumb oily. However, however, my skin is decently sensitive like to new products so you know i'd be breaking out easily if i don't have the right product or like let's say i shave my face if i shave it with anything other than aloe it usually breaks out because i did that the other day and it broke out so bad this mask is lasting me a pretty long time though i don't remember when i got it but um, I haven't been using this mask as often as I should. I'm excited to go into the new year. As y'all saw earlier, I was using my planner because I'm trying to actually use it. I talked about it on my spam a little bit, but I'm trying to actually use my planner instead of like, you know, just having it and not putting it to use. Bro, literally I'm taking my mask off by wiping it there. I think it's because I wiped it when it was dry right there, so. Gotta put some more on right here, right quick. Because this mask dries very fast, so it's like I have to like put it on very quickly or else it's gonna dry. So anyway, um, yeah, so I'm just trying to fix my habits. I told myself I was gonna jump rope today, but I didn't. I'm trying to switch up my cardio because I've been doing 12, 3.30 for like the past two months and I kind of want something different and more quicker to do than being on a treadmill for 30 minutes. Like I'd rather just do something quick at my house before I leave to go to the gym. It's quicker, effective, burns like you know, the same amount. I'd rather just do that. So probably gonna start jump roping next week. Just make sure y'all go into 2022 with some good intentions because it's probably gonna be 2022 by the time y'all see this. So if it is, then let's get it going let's let's get to the money let's get to the goals let's get to the bigger picture that's enough of my you know mini ted talk mini encouragement it's giving motivational speaker like stuff I could need the gym so I put like wipes Vaseline ponytails um, like a mini body wash some gum Tiger's balm tampons perfume 
Um, this is like a little baby rag, and then I put, what is this? Hand sanitizer. Um, I also have Advil, but I usually just keep it in my purse. So, well, there's actually one in my car. There's some stuff I could add, but it's just downstairs or in my car, so that's why it's not in there. I'm getting ready for bed. I'm literally about to pass out. I swept, not swept, vacuumed my floor, and my dog's in bed right there. I put her bed there instead of having it in my mom's room. And then when I was going downstairs to get my comforter out of the dryer, not my comforter, but my sheets, there was the biggest roach like literally the biggest roach i screamed ran upstairs i got my mom i think she killed it but she doesn't know because she can't find it now but there was like a slap mark like there was a mark of it on the floor and she cleaned it but she can't find it so i don't know but i would go downstairs get a blanket because my comforter is not dry and my sheets are not dry i'm kind of just chilling with this ghetto one and I'm just gonna pass out because I'm exhausted. And yeah, but I vacuumed. I didn't mop because I was just like, let me wait till tomorrow to do that because I don't feel like doing that right now. And then my sheets are washed. I folded my laundry, did that. And then what else did I do? I took out my contacts like not too long ago and um, I packed my gym bag as y'all saw, cleaned my closet out, yeah, so now I'm about to go to bed. So I'm gonna give you guys a little outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great new year or had a great new year. And cheers to 2022. Bye guys. See you guys in my next video. Maybe you can show me how to love Maybe I'm going through a drought You don't even have to do too much You can tell me I'm just a touch Baby I love you